hell is Farron? I'm stuck on a door somewhere again. You always do this. For some reason, they seem to get stuck on that one set of stairs sometimes. I think it's it might be their pathing is like overwhelmed by options with all of our sky bridges. There's fair. <laughs> and so they're like, I don't know which way to go for the fastest, and so they just choose like the wrong way or something. Or it could be because they since they lag behind, it's faster one way, but then we move and now it's faster a different way and they get confused because of the glitch back, you know, like going around a building or something. Yeah, no, I could definitely see that. Boy, you're uh, in a restock there on your coal. Luckily, we have six billion coal right next to you. Cool. <laughs> Quick AFK. Yep. But welcome, welcome, Combine. Just getting uh, a few things sorted out of my inventory. I'm going to set up my uh, two stables so I can raise some new horses, see if I can't get some with... Uh, other stat lines and things like that. And then I was going to go hit the stone mine to get beryllium some more materials and stuff. So we can get way, way more uh, stone that way. Alright, I need to cook stuff. 80! Three months combine. Okay, the, the number is getting ridiculous. Like, I didn't even realize I've been streaming for 83 months, but damn. I have a god, you're all beneath. <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much for resubscribing. Tier 2, even. Some gruel stacks going. Apparently, gruel is a fantastic food. Ooh, hell yeah. Got a lot of uh, tasty treats. I definitely think I'm going to stop cooking my uh, crazy steaks. Put all of these actually in the uh, furnace. Or not furnace, uh, icebox. Did you get announcements out? Oh, I never pushed enter. I typed them up, did not push enter. Dirt. Okay. There we go. Huzzah. Hello, everybody. Oh, what was I doing? Oh, you got potions of bestial memory. I see. Um, put that in there. Put that in there. Just trying to stack things where there's things to stack them on. Good. God, my inventory is overloaded with crap. Oh, because I went and fought all those boars and stuff. That's why I'm like, why do I have all so much bone and things? Feathers. Okay, I've got way too much crap. Um, I see. Um, I feel there's some room in here. Not much, though. Okay. Well, no reason to keep the raw pork. So let's get that all cooking. Yeah, we may need more, uh, more cooked fires. If I was gonna make it more, I'd probably do more stoves. Or not cooked fires, uh, uh, fridges. Ah, preservation boxes, gotcha. Yeah. Also, I did find the leveting agent at the end of last episode when I was up uh, heading there for grabbing more animals. They gotcha. are just to the north next to the dam, so we can get a whole bunch of mead. And I believe that pork feast is actually one of the better healing items. The rule is not terrible, but yeah, hey, apparently, apparently co uh, I've been feeding Farron the 1 HP per second regen, which makes it the worst food. Gotcha. Hi, it was today's years old when I found out. Look at a wall or where or the floor where you're at, uh -huh. and hold down tab. What? You can tell if they're needing it repaired without a hammer. I don't even have a hammer in there. What? Also, hundred thousand HP. Thanks. Hi, Kit. Hello, Kara. 
Okay, do I have enough weapon repair kits? Well, I'm glad to see you pop by and say hello. Welcome, welcome. God damn it. Every time. Drag them onto It'll the It'll be another <laughs> hopefully good Conan stream with us, uh, me giving... I have food trivia today, as it were. Either stuff I learned or looked up and all that fun stuff. Nice food instance, trivia. <laughs> were you aware that there was an accident that occurred in Boston, I believe it was like in like 1919 or so, where 21 people drowned to death in molasses? That would prob like that has to rank up high on the uh, the worst ways to go. Like in Boston, a, a storage tank for it of molasses burst in the downtown area, flooding the streets with millions of gallons of uh, molasses, which killed a whole bunch of horses too and twenty one people because they couldn't swim through it because it's so sticky. It oh. just clung to him and dragged him down. Oh my and obviously God. because the firefighters didn't know what the hell to do with it because, you know, you're not used to a flood of molasses. I mean, what can you do? Like, spray it with water to slowly dilute it? Like, that's a uh, Hot it. water, but the thing is, is if you get too hot, you're going to scald anyone who's stuck in it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, that, that sounds terrible. Yeah, it sounds like a really, really crappy way to die. Let's see if I can remember the date real quick. <gasps> or find out the date real quick. It was... Yeah, in 1919 in January, more than 2 million gallons, 8 million liters, of molasses flowing through the city is north end. The deluge caused extensive damage, killed 21 people. They have pictures of it too, of course, because, you know, that crap's newsworthy. Mm. But yeah. <gasps> well, thank you, Kara. I appreciate it. Sunny gave some good videos that I'll have me checking out some possible uh, building options. How are we on wood? Um, I think we have quite a bit of it. Actually, I don't know. I, there was nothing processing when I was in uh, making my stables. Uh, so that would be a big no. We have oh, like these are way bigger than I thought they were, which is not a lot. So that means I'll get Marty and start murdering trees. Marty, look, you're not where you're supposed to be, Marty. Marty, why are you here? Uh, this area is like my worst idea ever, but it's it works. Come on, find a spot you can sit. Whoa. And so, Ghost, I know you say you don't know celebrities, but I'm sure if I say the names Harlan Sanders and Dave Thomas, you know who they are, right? Uh, the Wendy's guy and obviously the KFC guy. Right, Harlan Sanders, the guy who yeah. created and uh, oh crap, what is horses known for, eat? I need, for uh, KFC, and Dave Thomas is the founder and creator of Wendy's. Now, did you know they were friends? Huh, did not. And when you think KFC, what do you think of, Ghost? Hamburgers, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, I said KFC, not Wendy's. I know. Uh, but yeah, so the chicken. Were they originally not chicken? Yeah, they, the, the seven secret spices and blend. And, and the big red and white bucket, right? Yeah. The yeah. red and white buildings. You want to know who invented the KFC bucket and the look for the KFC buildings? Oh my gosh, the Wendy's guy. Dave Thomas invented those. Because before he started Wendy's, he owned uh, several places that were selling KFC. Because for a long time, KFC wasn't a fast food chain. They were just sold in supermarkets. It was just a style of chicken before. It was a style of chicken. Ah. And the four best stores were all owned by one guy. And the CEOs, who was not Harlan Sanders because he had lost the business, uh, were curious and wanted to meet this guy who was in Ohio and was uh, uh, selling the best and that's because all of his things had this big red and white spinning bucket on top of the store and was out selling everybody before in kfc and they're like holy crap you're a great idea guy we want you to become partners and help us sell more chicken and so dave thomas 
worked for KFC and became like a high-end sort of, not a partner full say, but you know, uh, CEO. But the thing is, is he was not a business guy. And when he started making money, he tried to invest in other stuff to uh, a food distribution company. And his, the CEOs of KFC basically pressured him to sell his shares because KFC was a public company uh, for at cost. So $2 million of stock went for like $50,000. Ouch. Obviously, once Dave Thomas talked to some lawyers and stuff, they're like, no, you weren't in conflict of interest. No, you weren't in breach of contract. You got screwed. And he's like, damn it, give me my shares or my money back. And of course, the CEOs were like, no, screw you. What are you going to do? You know, it was a quote unquote legal sell. It was underhanded and shady as hell, but it was legal. Huh. So naturally, Dave said, screw you, I quit. And he decided to uh, get back by tackling on the giants of fast food in the early 70s and stuff by opening up a burger joint. <laughs> and he started Wendy's. He's also the guy that invented the multi-stop drive through He didn't invent the first drive through but he realized the lines were taking forever and all that stuff. He's like, we can give the illusion of movement by having them stop three times in the line, ah, for giving so your order, order paying your thing, and then picking up your food, and it gives the kitchen time to cook. Oh, that's great. <laughs> he also, from the get-go, was the guy that was like, our burgers are never frozen, because that was his big thing, because fast food places then were all freezing their burgers to save money, and he's like, I'm not going to do that. That That's not <laughs> how the flavor should be and all that. And so he, and he was the never frozen guy, but this meant they would often throw away a lot of fresh hamburger meat which is a huge loss mm -hmm. until Dave came up with a solution to that. The hamburger meat back in that wasn't good enough to stay as hamburgers because it was getting too old is how Wendy's chili started. Huh. They have really good chili too. I didn't realize it was they just They do. It's because it's meat. top quality, never frozen meat, but it's meat that's no longer good enough to be in their burgers. So instead they grind it up, season it, cook it down and, it becomes their chili. Huh. Wild. Um, let me but guess. Yeah. Armor Smith is probably the one I want to make saddles. Let's see. Where's our good Armor Smith? Marty with the 1,000 bit hip attack. Hey! That's the durability guy. Um, you and Armor Smith? No, you're a woodworker. Because of you, i got to make sure I make, and as soon as I do, I'm going to make sure I show it to you, the uh, uh, 10,000 bit alert, durability. which I don't have yet. But... I know I need one. I'm going to get one, damn it. Um, uh, why am I carrying all this stuff? You're the Whatever. weight guy. You're the damage guy. <laughs> you're a blacksmith. I don't think you're an So yeah, all this stuff is because uh, Star Sapphire and I, we're a bit of foodies, and we like watching a show called The Food That Built America. Oh my god, I, I wish I could find of more of that online. It's on Amazon. You can buy really? it. Really? Oh. It's not for free, but you can buy it through Amazon. Okay. You can buy the season and, and get it. Or Amazon Prime, I should say. You know, the, the digital streaming, if you will, mm. of Amazon. Um, well, apparently our armor smiths that we have, we have a choice between either durability or lower weight. And I don't think weight. either of those works for a saddle. Oh. Uh, probably durability for saddle. Because it, it doesn't burn durability. I'm going to go with the weight one, just because it's the... Sure. Um, like, it might do... Like, I don't know if the, the little pumping iron one is weight only, or it, if it's something else. Yeah, it's what it... That's the station that it originally airs on, uh, Kara, but streaming options are... I haven't had, quote-unquote, cable TV for quite a long time. I kind of don't see the point of traditional cable TV if you have reliable streaming services um, and good enough internet. At least they craft it faster. They craft the TV faster if you have cable? No, the uh, by putting a, <laughs> putting a name thrall on the saddle station, at least they'll craft faster than waiting on them. I was just being silly. I'd like to craft, like, craft a TV, entertain our thralls a bit, you know?
Also, I should take a look at these thralls, because the, the, the two torturers, this one is... That one's the stun one. That one is... Okay. The hammer. Okay, I think that just affects but yes, not breaking Sapphire speed. and I have watched all three seasons as they've more or less been coming out. Well, thir season three talks about uh, Dave Thomas and uh, the whole KFC Wendy's connection. Okay. Uh, Wendy actually is one of his daughters. Yeah, one of the uh, only the episodes of Queer Sandwiches the, uh, are because that's what he used to eat as a kid, and he liked the, the look of the patty so big it fell out of the bun mm. um, to make it look bigger. We got uh, some alchemical base done. He's also the guy that invented the triple burger because his he had the single and he had the double, and the single. Oh. Dave Burger was even bigger than the Whopper and the Quarter Pounder, and the double was just absolutely huge. Where are you, Marty? There you are. And uh, so when the no one was buying the double because everyone thought it was just too ridiculous size of a burger, his solution was I'll offer them a triple, and by making <laughs> them by offering them even something ridiculously even bigger, it increase the sales. The, the middle, the yeah, basically he's one of the guys that changed. You know, we're not going to call it small, medium, large. We're just going to call it. You know, we're still going to call it medium, large, and small, but the small, the what was medium is now small, and what was large is now medium, and thus I think kind of is what started the American size for just ridiculous portions. Um, huh. Hey, all right. If you want to come down to the uh, the main archway. <laughs> oh yes. Main archway, which which like main uh, archway? down by the green greenhouse area. You you'll know it when you're there. I'll be there. Oh, do we have like an elephant or something now? This is actually faster than I thought it would be. Hey, it's the stream. I'm encumbered. War Rhino. <laughs> Getting, like, Donkey Kong Country vibes. Oh, there you are. Like, check this saddle out. That's, like, Tolkien levels of, you know... <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go, uh, take it on my, uh, trip with me. It does not have the ability to jump. Farron, please it's move out Rhino. of the way. I, I am don't pinned know in the if corner. Rhinos can jump. <laughs> Should be able I to... mean... Don't they weigh something like eight tons or something ridiculous? Oh, shit, I need to give this, uh, stats. Uh, food. What was it? No, Farron. Ah, now I'm stuck inside Farron. Um, let's see. I'm stuck inside Farron. Uh, vitality was what? Vitality was vines. Which were in the freezer. Well, while I wait on my two new horses to level up, I can, uh... Fucking... Oh, God, no. Oh, there it is. Can you not eat that? No, it can. Wait, accuracy? What the... Oh, no, it counts as a, a... A human. Or it counts as something different. Great, now I need to figure out what the hell the rhino eats for vitality. <laughs> I'm gonna guess... It's not a proper fiber. stream unless I get encumbered. It really, really isn't. You want damage and HP for your Rhino because it'll fight with you? I just want HP. Like, its damage doesn't change drastically, but HP is whether it dies or not. Like, I feel like with Thralls, they'll kill something eventually if they don't die first. There we go. I got our planters reworking. Let's go ahead and check out on the... Uh... amount of poop we have. There we go. It, it is plant fiber. Good. Oh, well, good. I'm heading to the desert anyway, so I can get a whole bunch of plant fiber. No, we, manure is what I was checking on. So oh, yeah. I, we also need to put a new thing up in the manure thing, because my rhino is part of that, so. 
Maybe train up one of the uh, kitties I brought back the other day or something. <gasps> Here, Marty. I'm going to be a little careful with my rhino for the first couple levels because they will uh, they will be a little bit on the weak side, but I've got a war yeah, rhino. Fine. So I had a thought for you subscribers, partially because of what happened in the Subnautica stream with people asking about the GLBTQIA. And I kind of agree, the, the letters. It's good to have inclusion, but we need a shorter easier to pronounce tag, mm -hmm. if you will. Um, but for those of you that are follow, uh, subscribers, I believe even the tier one, um, you have that the barrel tail emote. Let's make sure. I think it's a tier one. Obviously, I have all my emotes because they're mine. But I'm pretty sure it's this emote. My claws are sharp, Bob, are yours? Yes. So assuming we get enough emotes unlocked, slots, what I was thinking of doing for Pride Month is uh, getting a bunch for the tail instead of being gray, black, gray, black, of making it the various Pride flags for, like I said, for Pride Month. So you know, you got the, the rainbow and the various colors and stuff for that. So any feedback from the masked crew would be helpful in that regards. Uh, where do we want to put the hyenas? Don't we have some hyenas here? I know we have panthers there. You know what? After the fiasco that happened at this gate the other day when we lost our other rhino, um, but no. We're gonna put hyenas out here. Here, Marty. Would you eat something, please? Can you... I really wish I could force eat them, but I guess you, you can only force eat when it's hurt. Well, no, it it, it, it you can't force eat something that you, you as yourself can't eat. So I can't eat plant fiber, so I can't force eat it. Hmm. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. It gets going. It takes a little while to get itself hey, in the sprint, but. All right, let's look at our baby box. Does it have an attack? No, it has to attack on its own. Do you have to do something special to make a rhino calf for a mount as opposed to guard? Uh, you just, you don't want to put the Shade Spice yeah. stuff in because if it gets a variant, you can't ride it. So you want the non-variant right. versions. It's actually getting some decent vitality gains, like... I feel like I'm, I, I, because I was killing things for the first couple levels, it gained a couple levels without eating. So it might have lost some potential stats there. <laughs> okay, now you've eaten something. Making use of those follower modes, Lever. Nice. <gasps> see what our I'm glad you're enjoying them, Kit. You're welcome. Holy shit! Okay, it does way more charge damage than the horse. Makes sense. Fluxby has mentioned it, and Ghost does it himself, and I really need to be better about it. I have a YouTube channel. The links there are in my stuff. I'm going to try to be better about hosting all of my stream stuff, because I make sure to record it, well, to, to get the VODs and save them, so yay that. That reminds me, I need to check something, because when I was watching back a stream the other day, it almost looked like... Oh, that's, that's apparently the format it does. Okay, good. But how's it going, Adominus? Glad you could join in. Oh, I forgot to put the poop in the fertilizer. Oh, I love going to the desert when I need to get plant fiber for animals, because uh, every bush is just pure fiber and seeds, basically. Yep. And they're like, the desert needs to look not barren, so let's put lots and lots of plants. Oh, well, I mean, a lot of deserts aren't barren. I mean, yeah, sure, you'll see those endless oceans of sand of the Sahara, but... Yeah, no, we just went down to uh, the Las Vegas area last, or during the week, uh, 
catch the Cirque du Soleil show for my girlfriend's birthday. How, what'd you think of O? Oh, that's what it you went to go see. It was right? really good. The only thing that I like, it might not even be a proper critique of it, but like, there was always four things happening at a time, and I did not know which one to look at at the same time. <laughs> that's a common thing in Cirque du Soleil. There's often two or three things happening at once. If you ever get to see another show, I would recommend Ka. I don't know if you're a music fan, but I've heard good things about both Love and Michael Jackson 1. Um, if you enjoyed the water aspect, the uh, it's not Cirque du Soleil, but the choreography is by someone who's done some of Cirque du Soleil's choreography is La Rev. Um, oh yeah, you're not on how. Farron, oh damn it. Farron is not on can be seen in public mode. Let's see, you were just, yeah, who's on the fang? We already got you. Is so, Kara is asking me to let you know, Ghost, that mm -hmm. they are not going to be able to uh, get in at the start of the Bari Bari streams this week because of a change in the lunch schedule. Yeah, no worries at all. So, like, we, we stream for like 10 hours at a stretch. Like, we don't expect anyone yeah. to be there the whole time or anything like that. Just show up when you can and, you know, stay for as long as you are. But you they know, asked me to works. relay the message, and, well, uh, I yep. got no problem with that. Oh, all sounds right. good. Where's all my manure? Marty, are you holding the manure in your pocket? You are. War Rhino versus regular Rhino. Oh, right, I can't jump. Um, You're welcome. Murder time. Yeah, you know, you can actually do decent damage just running around in circles on a Rhino. Marty? Oh. Go over there. Mm. Just gotta get up to like charge speed. Oh, Farron, Farron, do not aggro that. Oh God, Farron, no, bad Farron, get over here. <laughs> do not aggro <laughs> the boss, Rhino. I made you carry a lot of stuff in your pockets, Marty. You have really, really big pockets. They do not regain stamina quickly, though, when they're out. Alright, let's go ahead and... Yep. I want to check something with foundations from a video <laughs> Sunny <laughs> shared with me. I'm getting lots of levels up on my Rhino. <laughs> so Farron, what do you prioritize eating? Okay, you seem to be eating through the pork rinds and then the gruel. All right. But yeah, so apparently gruel is like six times more effective at healing than uh, pork rinds, so I'm going to be switching Farron over to a gruel diet. Until we gotcha. get, like, the pork beasts, which I think are better than gruel. But yeah, so now Farron is even mightier of a tank. Because now Does his HP regeneration... <laughs> Apparently 10,000 HP is, you know, My teeth will taste an on okay bro. amount, but there are still some bosses that it's like, you might want a little bit more than that. <laughs> Very nice good instincts, though. Scorpion buried itself underground. He chased it while it was underground. I mean, I'm assuming that's just AI lock on, but you know. Right. Ah, we have established peace between the, uh, the rock noses and the scorpions. As soon as we came into range, they stopped fighting each other, teamed up ah, against us. Ah, but that's how they did it. Is there some special trick? You can't put a door frame on a foundation, mm -hmm. like like on the side of a foundation to make it look different. But if you have the door frame down before you do the foundation, like you know you're going, you know, you can do that to get a slightly different texture on the wall of said foundation. Okay.
So something you can't do after the fact unless you're willing to risk tearing things down. Mm. Well, that's cool. But like, see, I can't put the door frame there, but if I now. pick up this foundation, I can put the door frame down first. And then if I put the foundation back in, it'll let me, and it adds this sort of different texture on the outside. Not sure how aesthetically different that is. Plus, you got the whole fence thing that I know you can do. That's cool. I'm glad people have discovered like these building tricks and things. Mm hmm. I never would have figured them out randomly. <laughs> Does that order my rhino to attack too? No, he's just kind of hanging out. I think I have a set to not kill things, which is probably fine. Alright, need to watch and not break my pick this time. Stupid stamina loss. I think you noticed it the other day, but no, I didn't like it where it was. I forget where I put it. All right. That's what I needed to do. All right, Marty, come back here. Where to walk and slow. Hold all that. Oh, the snow, the stone deposit. It's so good. Oh, yeah, that's how oh, my thing need... broke last time. It must actually take durability damage per stone you're hitting. 34 dead people's stuff. I thought it was per swing. Marty, you go stand guard over there. We're gonna, you know what, in fact, no, you don't normally just stand guard. It's episode 253. Hey, it's not quite that high, but it's like, I think we did 120 or something over the weekend is what I rendered out. Of, uh, Bari Bari stuff? Of Conan. Hmm. That's a lot of Conan. Yeah. Uh, I've been playing it for just a little while. Hopefully enjoying it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't get up to that level if I'm not enjoying a series. All right, who should we train up? Who needs training? Maybe I'll take one of our cats. Sparkle spots, you're with me. Yeah, I definitely recommend getting, like, any thrall we want to, like, leave sitting outside base. If you get them, like, five levels, they survive way more. Okay, sparkle spots, go back to your spot. Come on, cat. So I'd love to be able to take just one stone trip and, like, keep our guy busy. Like, it is so much less troublesome to just hit this one wall of stone. If anyone else knows of another wall of stone like this anywhere in game, I will travel for it. <laughs> I saw the creator use flat ceiling, floor, pillars instead of foundations, especially in such... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A little over 9,000 stone in one trip.
Ah, I did gotcha, hear that you could get a camel pet, but you can't mount it, which is kind of sad, because, like, a camel would be such a fun, like, mount to have. Like, gets extra speed in the desert or something you could do, like, would have been a cool idea. Wait, that might be a freaking white wolf. extra repair kits. Jeez. Why is this axe doing way less damage than I remember it doing? Ulrich Master... Ulrich Master Tamer. Is that over in the pirate area? Or is there... another place? I might as well grab one, just to say we have one kind of a thing. Alright, hang on a second. Do I have the wrong weapon? I do. Where the hell's my axe? Oh, cannot ride in the cave. All right, fair enough. Found the den. No, south Marty's entrance. got the. Oh, okay, we yeah, we we met him. Yeah. At least I don't think I was using Battle Axe or the Berserker. Was I? Uh, yeah, that was the one I was giving, I gave you. Okay. Just for some reason, it seemed to be doing way less damage. Was it type of enemy it was being used on, or...? It was a wolf. I mean, just regular wolf. Hmm! <laughs> I probably don't need to be carrying some 350 uh, resin. I wonder I'm so heavy. <laughs> Sunny shouldn't have it. Yeah, Sunny's had the brittle bastard forever. Because she's flat lethal with that thing. Okay, see, now I can see the issue with the rhino for travel. Here's how they are in combat. Ooh, that did no damage. Um... Guys. Wait, follow distance. Can they not actually attack on their own? What? Well, it's cool that they can do charge damage, but if they can't even just fight as a secondary fighter pet. Well, your horse can't fight as a secondary fighter pet. Oh, um, if you want to watch Beryllium's perspective. There you are. Get you both. But yeah, so you can do, like, ridiculous charge damage on the War Rhino, but, uh... Like, it doesn't aggro or take orders. It just has a follow distance. I was thinking it just didn't fight because I didn't put it on fight, and I'm like, that's fine. I don't want you going in and dying, but, uh, well, sad. I mean, it does, like, a hundred damage when you run into something with it. It just doesn't regen its stamina. And this is the war saddle, so it's not like I have, like, a scout saddle on or something where it would disable combat. Oh. Mystic, thank you for the follow. Um, I whapped the hell out of my panther, apparently. 
Here, have food to heal off of. Oh, right. Oh, right, because I can't have the torch and this. I need to get one of those glowing uh, legendary weapons. My teeth will taste your throat. I'll check my horse. I could have sworn. It just felt like compared to last stream and this stream, I'm doing shitty damage. I mean, did no, they didn't do an update or anything. I was gonna say, they wouldn't have, like, changed your legendary weapon's damage or anything. Did you respect yourself? No. Nope. I'll double check. Level hmm. 60, attributes all spent out. I mean, I got unspent fate points, but so what? Oh, wow, it does not do any charge damage on these rock noses, though. Dang. Well, it looks cool while I'm riding it, but sadly, not very effective. Well, hopefully the horses don't take too long to mature. I'll have to go check on them when I get back up to base. Okay, I... Horse versus rhino I combat. I don't know if we have any of that, Sonny. As soon as I'm not aggroed, I'll take a look at that quick post. Uh, it's entirely possible, like, I don't know the right button to attack with or something. Let's see, what's this say? Um... Hi, Gecko. There's a tank. Should it should never see the battlefield or lose to nearly anything. Yep. Oh. Noted. Oh, hello. Thanks, Farron. You will never return to your den. Oh well. We've got a cool rhino. I'm gonna like stick it up next to like one of the temples or something so it's out of the way. No, let's just get get on my horse. Please tell me it can fit through this. All right. Well, here's another issue of horse versus rhino. Rhino butt too fat to fit through this gate. Hey, look, it's stream time. Better hurry up and get ready. <laughs> you know what? Sure, you know what? That, 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 that's... Uh, let's see, it's this one. There you guys go. <laughs> I have named the rhino. It also is not gaining stamina because it refuses to eat properly. Hello, Bearer 3. Ooh, nice. Oh my god, the stamina regen sucks so much. The only reason you should use a rhino is PvE. Most monster NPCs can't reach you. Which makes farming bosses and minions thousand times easier to kill and not take any damage as your mount is tanking everything without any problem. Lose Maelstrom in back. Rhino in the Maelstrom is amazing. Player sees you farming NPCs, you will die and lose. Interesting. <laughs> Sunny. A little earlier, yeah. 
Not as early as we have at other times. Yeah, if it was but actually it leveling earlier. up its vitality, I would totally use it as a tank mount, but uh, it doesn't seem to eat often enough. So it doesn't get level stats really well. Like, it didn't gain any HP on that last level up, and probably the last couple. Like, what, what's, it, what's your stats? <gasps> yeah, it's only got eight, and it's like level seven. It's not really good stat growth. Also, the not being able to jump actually takes some of my uh, return to base routes out of possibility, which is a little annoying. Oh my god, it's damn the last so short. Stop getting all this damn human flesh. I don't want it. I just want human blood. Really, Farron? You aggroed the wolves, too? Alright, let, let's test this as a tank mount. I cannot wield my one-handed axe wall. So, even that is not a benefit. Sounds like you're just sad that you're having buyer's remorse with the rhino mount. Yeah, luckily it was very inexpensive saddle, so I'm not too upset. It'd be something we store over at the uh, stall river base or something. I started the second one because I figured... I'm just going to hang out on my set temple. Oh, hey, some human hearts. Don't know when exactly I had those. Must have had a larger stack that's been decaying since uh, the start of stream, but okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go take a look at our horses and see Dolphin about version. how long I have to wait for a new horse. Oh, you use spear with war rhino. Okay. Makes sense. They're kind of high up. Yeah. Okay, the, hor the horses are going to take, like, a stream at least to raise, so they are not a quick tame. Thralls and Pets is an early level, and you have to force feed it constantly, and I wasn't able to force feed it because it was eating food that I can't eat myself. Food buff upgrade burnout after each level, so even though Thrall Pet is still sated, gaining health, the stat increase has already been used up, so you have to feed it again. Yep. Uh, okay. So it's force feed, yeah. Alright, well, noted. Do I not have more pots with me? I do not have more pots yep. with me. This is a poorly planned uh, raid. Well, thank you for reminding me. I have no heal pots. <gasps> Ow. I'm horrible with dates, Kara. This guy's just gonna stand there until I put five arrows into his head and he dies.
good kitty. All right, well, got a lot more stuff crafting in the uh, forge for you. <laughs> Thank you for the confident uh, vote of support, Sunny. Player versus horse versus player. Keep it simple. A few counters to tell us pets. Horse will one to four shot a player easily. The small counter for ground combat is very limited. Hard to use fully. Horse moves freely, outruns, almost outturns a player on the ground. Added bonus effects. High and skilled ground fighter. A normal horse can, player can kill you fairly easily. God forbid. If you're hit with a lance, you might as well uninstall and try a new game. Wow. Damn. They have opinions. Take care, car. Yeah, have a good one. All the fish and bugs, because now I don't need the fish and bugs. Alright, now was I training someone? I think I was training someone. I was training my berserker. Stupid stamina. Thank you, Farron, for uh, joining me. I'm actually going to take your ghoul off of you, because I need that on my Berserker. How you doing, Scar? Up off your ghoul stacks a bit. You are level 13. You are coming along nicely. And my cat's dead. No! What did you run into? Like, I went to poke one guy and ended up getting eight somehow. Where did you go? To the, to the Nordheimer home. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are very aggro over there for some reason lately. And for some reason, I am just not getting my stamina back. Hell, I may die. Can you run? Time for another stop chasing? training run. This one? This one. Also been informed that there are other really, really good fighters in this area that I have not been seeing because I've been going just for the Berserker. Oh, so glad I, I didn't run the whole die! Way. Yeah, glad you survived. Yep. Was it a uh, standard kitty or a big kitty? It was, I mean, it was a panther, but it was... But was it a special variant, or...? No, just oh, normal. Okay. That makes it hurt a little less. Still sucks, but... Not this way. he does with that sword. Holy crap. Wrong area, this camp, for what I'm looking for. Not surprised by that, Sonny. Fuck off, wolf. Yeah, the horse is just so much more maneuverable. Being able fun. to we jump's to a big right part now. of it for getting, you know, over rocks and stuff. Are you teaming? No. Okay, they are fighting each other. I was like, humans and race fighting together? What is this madness? How'd he 
does like two hundred damage a swing with that sword. We haven't even gotten a good upgrade on that thing yet. All right, time to buzz the camp and see if we got any yellow names. Come out, come out, yellow name thralls. there no one no one is here just me checking for thralls okay, no one on this island I think there's a bridge over here yes almost fell off now to do this loop few people, and none of them are yellow. Oh, Breath of Dagon. That's a bit different. Hmm. Breath of Dragon would be a real cool craftable. Just fire breathing <laughs> for a little bit in combat. Yeah. All it is is just 100% alcohol that you light on fire after spitting it out, you know? <laughs> there you go. No, 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 no! Fuck. You're not yellow. So glad that Archer didn't decide to shoot me while I was climbing up. <laughs> really, Friend none of you guys are yellow name. Stand and be seen. Blade of the Adventurer. That sounds kind of badass. Oh yeah, no, that's one of the. Uh, did you get that from New Loot? No, I'm looking at our NPCs to see who, if anyone has yeah, like. Blade of the Adventurer starter. is huge good damage. I, if you're training a thrall, throw that on them. I've got, I think I've got one on my uh, thrall, and uh, you slap it. Hello, we got the whole crowd of people today. It's also a crowd hitter, I think. Don't know. It's. Uh... I will find out in a second. Yep, it does hit multiple enemies at the same time. Oh, I am bleeding. Uh, 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 I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Yes, meaningless as your life. Uh, he does way more damage than I do to these guys. Uh, Hides away. Ooh, layered silk. Damn, getting good shit from these guys. Bunch of wood. Where else did we kill them? Oh, right here. Man, this is a great place just to go to farm resources. Good. Like carrying, like, steel bars and crap. In the middle of Lake Swain, the Sumerians claim the mound's ancestral home, constantly at war with the undead who claimed it. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, there's a bear of three in here. But I do not expect there to be that many people. But yeah, apparently this is a potential spot you can get a 
another level 4 bearer, which I was going to do, so we have a bag of Baron. We have a gotcha. Boss. But, uh, just a 3, but hey, it's a 3. Well, this guy's just kicking ass. The bright joy of slay. You handle him, please. Thank you. Your death will be as meaningless as your life. Seven takes us to fifty-nine, and we need what seventy-five. Oh, it was a bear two sadness. Oh, yeah, fifty-nine, seventy-five, so sixteen. All right, well, it looks like I'm just going to pick up the Berserker. Oh, hello. Do not put the hearts in my eating slot, please. Thank you. Mmm. Juicy Have you ever and had... fresh. I've had chicken hearts before at, like, a... Uh... Have you ever had beef tongue? I have not. Beef tongue is a really good one done right. There's a, uh, a place near us that does the Japanese barbecue style cooking, mm. which is we give you the, you know, we marinate, we slice the meat, but you cook it right there inside the table. Yeah. And they offer beef tongue. Oh, so good. <laughs> Thank you, Crowns. Alrighty. Uh, water plug. How's my water skin doing? Good enough. Let's get some blue goop and a little bit of bone. Okay, I'm done with these guys. I got no more use for these guys. Alrighty. Let's go try and killing people again. Who needs leveling? We got a bunch of human thralls that probably could use it. Ooh. You're level 11. Is this the same front entrance? No, this is different. Your death will be as meaningless as your life. <laughs> Lots of hearts. What I really should do is figure out what other uh, temples I need to upgrade to tier three, and should have come out here with their tools. That's what I'm working on. So I can see about closing in that last one. All right, hyena, give up. Probably should actually be checking these guys, see if they're yellow before my guy murders them all. Lies. Hmm. I thought I ran through this area before, because yeah, that's the bridge is connected to the other areas. I must not have. No, I did. Oh. How well, did I my bow not in the kill a deer? What the hell? Did like all of our damage get nerfed or something? I didn't even one shot a deer with my bow. Oh! I feel like I'm doing a bit less as well, yeah. My Thrall is doing just fine, but I am... I mean, these guys have heavy armor on, but I have an armor penetration on my axe. Did not one-shot a deer. Yeah, let me go find uh, something easier to kill, and I'll see how much damage I'm doing. With my... 
upgraded full team bow that you can do. Yeah, though, that's concerning. Maybe because I was on horseback? No, I do normal damage off horseback with a bow. That's how I killed, like, rock nose and stuff. Rock slide. Nope. I did 110. Did not one shot a deer. Oh, okay. Well, that's not too bad. Yes, but I used to drop a deer instantly. With a bow shot. Hmm. <sighs> My axe seems to be doing what it's supposed to now, at least against animals. What size safety a thrall can have? I mean, Farron has over 10k, and he's not even, like, perfectly trained for HP. I think I trained him for strength. So I'd assume probably, like, 15k-ish. Right, this camp can also have some yellow-named ones. Out there. Nope. Out there. Damn. Jesus. I feel like I'm doing less damage just because I'm near my thrall with his crazy sword. Also, I apparently found something out that the uh, tier 4 blacksmiths, if uh -huh. you... Uh, if you have a weapon recipe for some of the higher tier weapons, the bladesmith ones can give it more damage and armor penetration than legendaries. So you can actually take a purple weapon and have it spec to be on legendary tier. So that's cool. Gives you a reason to actually invest in the... Uh, Crafting. Huh. All right, where is that berserker spawn? He's right over there, dead ahead. Okay, you. I'm going to need you to attack nothing for just a minute for me. Thank you. Yes, angry, screamy lady, but I'm not here for you. <laughs> also, apparently there's a female version of the Sumerian Berserker, but I've only given getting the male one. Please tell me that's not a fucking white coming down to... Yep, it's white. You ran around the long way. Oh, God damn it. You tank that white for a bit, buddy. Hello, anybody left alive? Did you not hear me kill all your friends? Great, I had to do this at night time. Get you out of melee range, my friend, so I can knock you out. Here. You can have people meet to eat too, hyena. Fell through the world. That seems less than ideal. Yep, let's see if I can get him to respawn. I'm just gonna unload the chunk and come back. <laughs> Oh, the last stream I did get a female one? Nice. There's no difference in stat growth, but, you know, gender equality and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> I'll turn you back on attack things. Can I get you any level ups while we were out here? Wow, no. Okay, so yeah, really, fighting humans is useless for a thrall. Jesus. I 
don't even remember where the fuck. It's so hard to navigate this stupid marsh in the dark. <laughs> Alright, we should be on the ground over here, maybe? There they are. At least I know the workaround for that bug. I'm also out of healing pots, so I need to remedy that when I get back to base. I dragging? I'm not sure if I'm hooked up. Because I can't see a damn thing. Oh, I was hooked up. Okay. Right. Looks like it's almost sunrise. Is your human friend? That human was carrying poop in his pocket. Well then. Fuck, I can't see anything. I think I'm going the right way. Man, nighttime some Oh, you it know what? Like I have a stupid nighttime 30, dust. 30 damage a bite to a here to human. That's some damage, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I feel like fighting the tree warden. You know, I can kill him real easy with poison arrows. Really want to explore these three towers. We have I have yet to explore them. The ones over by the uh, bone whites and stuff. Yeah, the three really really big towers. I'll get this for ghost. What are you doing? Picking something up. <sighs> Is it a wolf pup? It's a wolf pup. Guy. I really wish they would gain experience if you just, like, planted them as a guard so you could put them at, like, a really low-level spawn they can kill and just let them level up on their own. Mm-hmm. But they can only level up while you're partied with them, sadly. 